Hello friends, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to compute the number of times a digit appears in an integer in C++. As usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. Write down a computer solution that can be used to count the number of times a particular digit appears in an integer input. Hint, you may assume that there is an operator modulus that returns the remainder when one integer is divided by another and has the syntax a modulus b, where a and b are an integer constants. To the algorithm, we are going to ask the user to input the set of numbers. So we say input number. Then we are going to store a copy of the user's set of numbers in a new variable called new number. Then from here, we will ask the user to input the particular digit he or she wants to find the number of times it appears in the number. So we say input digit. Then we create an empty variable called counter, which is going to count the number of times that particular digit appears in the number. Now, the idea we are going to use is that we are going to take the user's number or the set of numbers, then take the last digit and compare that last digit to the user's digit. If it is the same, they will increase counter by one. Then after that, we remove that last digit. So we get a new last digit and compare that new last digit to the, the, the user's digit again. If it is the same, we increase counter by one. If it is not, counter remains as it is. They remove that last digit as well. So we keep doing this until there is no longer any digit to compare. To get a clearer picture, let's continue with the algorithm. So we say while number is not zero, last digit equals number modulus 10. It should take the last digit. Now, if the last digit is equal to the digit, then it should increase counter by one. So if last digit equals digit, then counter plus plus increase counter by one. Now NF. Now number divided equals 10. Now remove that last number. And wow. Now this loop is going to run until there is no longer any number again. As we go along, we'll visualize it and then we get a clearer picture. So from here, we'll print our result. So print digit appears in new number counter times. Now let's take the number to be 212. And then the digits we want to count the number of times it appears in 212 is 2. So we say digit equals 2. Now since 212 is not 0, we can enter this while loop. Now the while loop, it says the last digit equals number modulus 10. So the last digit equals 212 modulus 10. So the last digit in 212 is 2, so which is equal to 2. Then we are going to compare the last digit to digit. If it is the same, we are going to increase counter by 1. Since 2 is equal to the last digit 2, we are going to increase counter by 1. So counter will move from 0 to 1. Then we say number divided equals 10. Remove the last digit. So 212 divided by 10, we get 21. Because integer on an integer is an integer. So we get 21. We have removed the 2. Now n while. Now since the number is 21, and the condition to enter the while loop is that the number is not 0, we can enter this while loop again. Now in the while loop, the last digit in 21 is going to be 1. Now when we compare 1 to the digit the user entered, which is 2, it is not the same. So we can't increase counter. Counter will remain as it is. So counter will still be 1. Then we say divide the 21 by 10. Remove the last digit. And when we remove the last, we're going to get 21 divided by 10 being equal to 2. And while the condition again to enter this while loop is that the number is not 0. Since the number 2 is not 0, we can enter the while loop again. So the last digit in 2 is 2. So 2 modulus 10 is 2. Then we're going to compare these two to the user's digit, the 2. If it is the same, then we're going to increase counter by 1. Since 2 is equal to 2, we increase counter by 1 and then we get count to be 2. Then we say divide the number by 10. Remove that number. Now when I remove that number, I'm going to get 0. There will be no number left again. Now the condition to enter the while loop, we end while. The condition to enter the while loop is that the number is not zero. Now the number is zero, meaning we can't enter this while loop. So we print our result. So print digit, which is two, appears in new number, 212. Now you see the reason why we save the copy of number in new number, because at the end of the while loop, the number is going to be zero. That is why we save the copy of the original number in new number, so that we can print it here. So we say new number equals 212, and then the counter is going to be two. 
meaning the digit 2 appears in 212 two times. I will encourage you to take your time and then think through it. But as you go, let's convert this algorithm to code in C++ and let's see how it runs. So in the int main function, I declare number digit, new number, last digit, and counter to be inted. Then I initialize counter to be zero. Then I ask the user to input number. Then I store the copy of the number in a new variable, new number. And I ask the user to input the digit. Then I set the while loop, which is going to count the number of times the digit appears in the number. Then I print my results. Now if this if statement here we have we have here is going to check our grammar. That is, if counter it is counter is one, then it should print only one time. Else it, it should print or that is if counter is two, three, or any other number, it should print two times, three times. Let's run our code and see how it will be. So I'm going to input value for number. So I entered five five three five three six five, and the digit I want to find the number of times it appears in this number is five, and you see that five appears four times. Let me input another one. 3, 4, 5, 1, 6, 7, and then I want to find 6. Now you see 6 appears 3, 4, 5, 1, 6, 7 one time. So you see our grammar is checked. Alright friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, a party.